Howdy guys, welcome back to another video of Wasteland Survival. It is update time, so version 5.3.0. Holy cow, great the cows, it's time to ranch up. Grow cows at your ranch, build a cow shed and become a true cowboy. Treat yourself to, and sorry, and your pet to the finest meat. Upgrade your ranch to, um, oh sorry, upgrade your ranch for more fields two next levels of chicken coop and an ability to expand your ranch even further harvest and feed rebalance for a more comfortable ranching uh i guess an experience and the improved canyon trials leaderboard enjoy the league system and improved score calculation spirit cave is closed for renovation so that is it it has happened um we are now basically without the spirit cave going forward. So that's going to be interesting. Um, all right, so the new ranching horizons. Uh, how did cowboys and cowgirls? It's time for cows to finally meet the boys and girls. Saddle up for some exciting adventures um, for ranching improvements, basically. The hottest news is certainly the ability to race cows on your ranch, build a cow shed, and upgrade it to increase your cow's livestock. You'll need a special item called our cow bell, which can be found at the train attack event uh, along with the breeding roosters. Okay, so we're either going to get roosters or a cowbell or hopefully both if that event pops up. Uh, to feed your cows, you can use different crops, but most efficient ways to make cow feed from cabbage, pumpkins and beans uh, at the upgraded farming bench. So that there's, there's right there is going to be a requirement. Uh, in order for you guys to feed your cows and make livestock, basically. And yes, uh, with your own cows, you can uh, now produce juicy fillets to treat yourself and your pet. But that's not all. The great news um, about the upgraded ranching system. Let's move on. Uh, exciting news, uh, folks, players at 65 or higher receive, uh, receive several breeding roosters and a cow bell along with some seeds to make feed. As a meat production at the ranch is high tier feature, considered it as a bonus to get started. So if you guys are level 65 or above, we should be expecting to receive something in our inbox. So we'll go ahead and obviously take a look at that. Um, other ranching improvements, more crop fields available. So you get four extra fields to build as your household increases. And the great news, max crop grows are now always 200 for fiber, 64 fodders, no matter the field tier. Well, that's good. Uh, there's also an option to expand your ranch territory more you should you desire more land rebalance and livestock rules those hungry critters on the ranch have been uh, rained and now chickens eat much less so I knew that was actually a little bit higher um, consumption for those chickens that they actually consumed a lot more than what they should have um, in fact I actually stopped uh, feeding them for some time because they had a lot of chicken um, or poultry meat for, for a little while, so I hadn't actually really um, invested in that. So I'll be interested to see how that works now. Uh, so newborn chickens don't consume food either, and yes, livestock now increases once a day instead of uh, one um, every few hours, which is much more convenient. Okay, so the amount of livestock increases depends on the chicken coop level, which can be upgraded up to level four now. The same livestock rules apply for the grow, uh, sorry, for the new cow shed. So what does that mean? Uh, livestock now increases once a day instead of one by every few hours. So I, I guess that's the rebalance that they've done to mitigate the amount of consumption from feed or whatever you put in there to breed your chickens. So I don't know if I like that because I think that's going to stunt the, um, the food production. So yeah, that's interesting. Um, all right, so we'll, we'll move on. The With a clock clock here and a moo moo there, what's next? More exciting changes to the ranking system in upcoming updates. So they haven't really, <coughs> excuse me, they haven't really finished off this arc of the update system for the ranching update. So after all, chickens and cows should produce something else besides meat, something yummy and white. So it looks like there's going to be some milk. I guess that's going to happen, which I thought that was going to be the case. I thought that was actually going to be implemented straight away, if I'm being honest. So, um, and eggs would be uh, the chickens equivalent to something white. So that's going to be interesting. Um, all right, so the final part here, the Canyon Trolls, 
leaderboard rework has happened. Uh, league systems for fairer competition, bronze, silver, gold leagues added with five divisions for each for a fair matchmaking. You first run into the canyon under the new rules will be considered a qualifying run. Your performance in that run will determine which league you're placed in with the highest possible placement being gold five. The uh, number of leaderboard points you get for dealing with enemies now depends on their strength. Moreover, soon, the sooner you finish the wave, the more points you get. Okay, so Canyon, um, and then the final part here, the Canyon waves have been rebalanced to provide a smoother increase in difficulty. With the league's rework, there will be some more leaderboard winners. So Canyon Trials rewards have been updated. Rings, silver coins, refined sugar can now be obtained in the Canyon while the resources have been moved to the leader rewards. There you go. So <laughs> there's been a lot of uh, changes um, that has happened, basically. And there you go. So that's what they look like. That's the compensation that we're going to get. Um, so we actually got a, a number of um, breeding roosters. There you go. And we've got one cowbell, got some pumpkin seeds, some cabbage seeds, and some beans. There you go. And we've got a whole bunch of these as well. We're constantly working on improving Westland survival. Many changes affect items on your account. Don't worry, we've already sent special rewards to your mailbox. I don't know why I need more of these because I've got a stack load of these. So I don't know what they have removed. Um, again, that. So let's go ahead and check the mailbox. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of wolf fangs now. Now, I wonder what got taken away. I reckon it's got something to do with the, um, the spirit cave. So let's go over here real quick. Yep. Yeah, spirit cave stuff got removed. So that's interesting. I thought that would have been the case because I know I left stuff in certain boxes just to see if there was going to be any sort of change. And the final one I wanted to look was over here and they removed it. Yep, I thought so. Okay, so that's that's fair. So what that tells us is the whole system of um, how the spirit cave work is work, sorry, is going to change in a massive way. So it doesn't look like you're going to be able to use the tablets per se in order for you to go up an enchantment level. So I am assuming that there's going to be a major difference to that. So we don't know much else than what I've just explained myself. What I'm thinking that's the case, but at least I've got some uh, space freed up, which is a little bit nice. But again. I've got a, a crap ton of stuff already, so I don't know how this is going to work out for me. Um, but yeah, look, while we're on the subject of the Spirit Cave, I'm actually interested to see uh, what that looks like now. So we've, what, what have we got here? We've got these shooters. Oh, here we go. Uh, canyon competition has begun. Looks like we've got some stuff here that we can collect. If you want to learn more, we can go in here. So <laughs> this is the new system. This is the new uh, rewards. As you can see, so 11, so 20th is the minimum bar here, and then you've got the first place. And I'm sure this will change because I think you go up to gold tier as well. So yeah, so there, there you go. So that also also changes now. There you are. Now the spirit cave is actually gone. They've wiped it from the map. There you go. Okay, so Canyon Trials is still there, that hasn't changed, but the Spirit Cave is a Gonski. I reckon it's going to be relocated somewhere else um, on the map here. It could be probably well and truly here, if, if anything, but yeah, that's gone. No more. It would have been nice because I was only a couple of days out from resetting the Canyon Trials and I had a lot of those totems and things like that, those tributes that I could have cashed in, which I didn't. Um, but how were we to know? how were we to know that was going to happen and that was going to be a thing so and i started scrambling trying to pump as much um tributes as possible so i can try and get rewards and unfortunately i didn't get as much as i would have liked so it is what it is right um but aside from that guys i think that's it there's really not much else going on with the map here at all um doesn't look like anything appears to be changed over here either um, I think that looks all the same if I'm being perfectly honest with you. So yeah, there you go. Um, there you guys go. That how That's how it's happened. That's how it's happened. Now, let's go ahead and have a quick look because I know you guys are interested to see the, the new cow system. 
I'm just going to quickly have a look at the upgrade path now for the uh, the chicken coop. I don't know why it still says level one. A little bit weird about that. But I can definitely pump more into here. That can be built. Oh, sorry, I can utilize that. That's no problem. Uh, this, not so much. That, not so much. But this, pretty much, I can do all of that pretty much right away, really. So if we put all, then I've got all those happening, so which is fine. Um, but okay, let's have a look. Production, so we've got more fields. <coughs> so an extra four. So you can have eight in total. What that means is we're gonna need to change up, or I'm gonna need to change up, sorry, um, everything here in terms of um, my base layer if I wanna get maximum production, which I don't know at this stage I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna have to hold off because well, if we want to expand, it's still quite expensive for you to expand your base. So they've opened up this part here now. So this is the new section. It's still the same cost, 125 gold or 15.99 Aussie dollars. Conversion will obviously differ from play, um, from uh, country to country or region to region, but it's not going to you know it's not going to do anything um, for us right now. But as far as this goes, this is uh, this is still max, so that hasn't changed. Actually, that's interesting. Why has it got this here? Can we take those? I don't think we can take those. So that's new. It shows the seed and the um, the actual produce that you're making. Interesting, because that wasn't like that in the previous update. It said the same thing with that as well. Has the recipes changed? No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, it hasn't changed, has it? Nope. Yeah, so that wasn't a thing previously. Well, there you go. So I'm gonna need to work out where I'm gonna put my little cow uh, shed, which I'm thinking it's gonna have to be here somewhere. Makes all the sense in the world to do that, so I'm gonna have to do it that way. So let's go back into the build menu. Uh, storage, no projects it is. I'm going to need more, um, uh, what do you call it, iron in order for this to happen. So, do I have iron? That's the question. Uh, detail bench, I do, okay. Perfect, so let's just go ahead and do that. And let's go back to my thing. Okay, so cow shed can be done like that. I think I'm gonna do it like that because I think I've got, oh geez, I should have space. Sorry, that's what I'm sort of trying to get at. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go ahead and build. And then now we're gonna have to see what else is all the other requirements. Let's go ahead and put all. So you need two cowbells. So you're not gonna get be able to do this straight off the bat. So basically we need a train attack event to spawn in and then you need uh, some steel, some iron rivets. Um, so yeah, steel nails, iron rivets, a bit of iron tools, and then a couple of cowbells. So that is going to be the requirement here, boys and girls. So let's go ahead and just take that one for the moment. I may as well take all these while I have those, while I'm thinking about it. Um, okay, so cowbell, you can go into there. So there goes one. And I'm going to need one more, so as you, see, as you can see, it's going to be um, the train attack event that's going to um, be the place of um, um, that we need to go, where we need to go. So this is interesting. We've got the cowbell calling. I'm assuming that this is going to open up for a lot of people as well. Uh, once you've put in your st um, any sort of materials into the cow shed, that you're going to get one of these little pop-ups happen as well. So it's going to give you another cowbell. It's going to give you the cow feed. As you can see, there's a thousand um, uh, feeding ability or HP, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you get some extra cabbage seeds. So that's basically that. And for all the low of the low price of three dollars forty nine Aussie dollars. Um, but yeah, that is interesting. So with this, I've got enough food for eighteen hours. Um, if I just go ahead and add, boom, that gives me a full 120%. That's going to, um, yeah, I've got three days worth of food now. 
So that's going to be interesting. So as I said, in future updates, they're going to open up some more um, abilities to um, get more resources out of these um, uh, ranching buildings. So chickens, it it's, looks like it's going to be uh, eggs. And then for the cows, it's going to be milk. Now, we don't know what it's going to look like in terms of um, uh, food impact and how that's sort of going to work in that sort of relationship. So we go to the kitchen here. Really, nothing has been changed, as you can see. Now, we're going to get the fillet by the looks of things once we start um, harvesting cows for uh, meat and whatnot. And that's going to be um, associated for that. And then for the pet side of things, um, the sated tea for that, we shall tell you in a moment, uh, ba -ba -ba, is 25. Whereas obviously the happy pork can is still going to be the best, that's going to be the second best, and then you've got tender meat, uh, ribs, and obviously white meat, which is going to be the more common thing that you're going to be able to use. But I've got a lot, I've got a lot of these as well. And just on this as well, and I know a lot of people have actually um, mentioned this too, but I've noticed that with pets, <laughs> excuse me, there is a number of people reporting that there's zero fertility, meaning that you can't actually um, have a cub or anything um, or a, an offspring from the parents um, because there's zero fertility, which is not good. So I don't know. If, it, if the devs have done this um, intentionally to slow down the progress, if they're going to be um, adding to this further down the line, I'm not too sure, but I thought I'd just um, point that out. Also, I upgraded mine not long ago as well, so I've got um, seven spots maximum as an availability. But yeah, I just wanted to um, uh, share that with you guys as well. But otherwise, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit crowded for me now. Um, it's going to be very crowded for me, so I'm going to have to find ways to consolidate and move things around in order for me to, um, yeah, have enough space for everything because it would be nice to have more um, more fields so I can produce more crops and stuff like that, um, but they're really pushing um, the expansion to your base, which is obviously going to cost you money in doing so, and it's not like... It's a one-time cost for everything. It's for individually as well. So that is quite expensive, guys. Really expensive. So I don't think that's something that I'm going to be doing anytime soon. Um, this all screams that you need an alliance with um, a, a suitable amount of um, gold income in order for you to actually you know, uh, make use of that and entertain the prospect. Um, nothing else here has changed either, so I thought I'd just quickly show you that. Um, but yeah, you've got the fields here, but still, it's going to be quite expensive um, to do. But look, for now, I've got some work to do. I've got some work to do to build this fella up. I'm going to have to spend some time in the iron mines. Um, I've got a little bit of um, steel, oh sorry, chromite, so I'm going to be able to get all that crafted too. But yeah, this is going to be my bottleneck for now. And then once a train attack event pops up, let's see if one does. Um, well, I've got you guys here. Doesn't look like it. No. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that in my own time to get that sorted out. So that is basically it in a nutshell. Um, the canyon trials, obviously they mentioned there was a rebalance. It sounds like there's gonna, it's a little bit more skewed to um, increase in difficulty. So it's probably gonna be too much to go over in this video, but I thought I'd just, um, you know, round back and just sort of give you guys a bit of a synopsis over it that over that as well so let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below and yeah i mean guys that's it that is the update 5.3 not a lot has happened but then again a lot has changed um so yeah let me know your thoughts um are you guys sad that the spirit cave is gone for who knows how long who knows it might not even come back that is the concerning thing as well. So that's the other thing that you got to sort of look at. Will it ever come back? Um, but they are, but I did notice that there's been posts from the uh, developers saying, what would you like to see when it does return? So it should come back. So I wouldn't think that they would um, go out on a limb and say that, you know, 
what would you like to see? And if it never comes back, then too bad kind of thing. But I don't think that's going to be the case. So I don't know. I'm just sort of speculating right now. We've only just lost it. So it is um, what it is. But guys, I think that's going to go ahead and do it here for today for me. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this one here. Let me know in the comments uh, down below what you think about the update. Are you happy, sad, in between? Let me know. Um, be interested to hear your thoughts. Um, but everything else, guys, um, look, make sure you hit the like button, share if you can, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and make sure you hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty, guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.